Dhaka. Today, home to almost 17 million people, making it one of the most densely populated countries in the world. It is expected that by 2025, the population will have grown to 25 million. The rapid growth of its population has exceeded the demand for accessible safe public transportation services. Deteriorated level of service, lack of passenger comfort and operational efficiency have marred the public transport sector. Improving the transport system in Dhaka is an urgent dilemma for the authorities. In 2005, the Strategic Transport Plan, STP, recommended three bus rapid transit, BRT routes, and three metro rail systems. BRT Line 1 will start from Kuril to Prabhati Shoroni and Saidabad. BRT Line 2 will start from Gaptoli, Azimpur to Saidabad. BRT Line 3 will start from Ghazipur, Uttara, Mohakali to Shadarkhat. BRT Line 3 will bifurcate into Line 1 and 3 at Kuril. MRT Line 6 will start from Uttara Phase 3, Pallubi, Farmgate, Shahbag, Press Club. Within this framework and under the ADB financing, the first section of a North-South BRT Line 3 from Ghazipur to airport will be implemented. The section from airport to Shodarkhat is being studied by the World Bank. The feasibility study of the section from Uttara to Shodarkhat is nearing completion by the World Bank. Elevated Expressway will start from Airport Railway Station. MRT Line 6 will also start from Uttara area. These initiatives together with the MRT Line 6 are paving the way towards achieving the goals set forth in the Strategic Transport Plan for Dhaka. Bus Rapid Transit BRT is an enhanced bus service implemented in many cities worldwide providing high quality services to ensure mobility and access for everybody. The first phase of the corridor will cover approximately 20 kilometers between Uttara, Dongi, Joydevpur and Kasipur, serving more than one million inhabitants. There are many factories, universities, official facilities and Bangladesh Rice Institute located along the corridor which engages a large number of people. Most of the internal roads are very narrow and only rickshaws and auto rickshaws can ply on them. Trans Dhaka is a proposed government-owned company to manage, maintain and operate the BRT system. Trans Dhaka will have 31 stations from the airport terminal to Ghazipur. Passengers will have a station within half a kilometer. This multimodal hub at airport will house the BRT station public bus station, railway station, car parking and shopping mall. In the multimodal hub, commercial activities will be developed under a PPP scheme which will include facilities for all BRT staff and passengers. The platform for airport railway station is located behind the multimodal hub Passengers from the airport railway station will have easy access from the platform directly to the BRT terminal, conventional buses and other transports. Convenient feeder buses will be placed for passengers 
traveling from the airport to the airport BRT station. Drop off and pick up point for feeder buses will be very near to the car parking. Passengers travel with other vehicles can easily get off in the drop off and pick up point of public buses, cars, and CNG auto vehicles in the multimodal hub. Passengers can leave their private vehicles parked in the parking area while they are traveling in BRT bus. For further convenience of passengers, Ghazipur BRT station will have feeder service. BRT corridors will be widened to the full crest width to create more space in the pavement. Due to this road widening, BRT bus lanes will not hamper other traffic. According to passenger demand, BRT corridor will have two plus two BRT lanes from the airport terminal to Dewa. From Dewa to Ghazipur, BRT corridor will have one plus one lane. Stations will be comfortable, safe, and with easy accessibility for all passengers. Cross ventilation and AC equipment for the warmest seasons will be provided together with proper arrangements for rainwater flow. There will also be adequate queuing space for the passengers. Stations will have electronic gates to protect the passengers. be underpasses at all stations for pedestrians accessibility. For access to stations and for boarding buses, passengers will have to make prior payment at the ticket counter located in the halls of the underpasses. Stations will be equipped with high security systems, information screens and voice information system. The trans Taka operations will be monitored from a control center in coordination with the police. High capacity buses will include special seats for women, elderly and handicapped people. LED panel will announce the next stations, time and the weather. Onboard system will be installed for possible communication between the vehicle and the control center from where vehicle position will be monitored using GPS. Seven flyovers and overpasses along the corridors will be built. An elevated section of nearly 5 kilometers will be built for the BRT between house building and Dera. Dongi bridge will be dismantled and a new 4x4 lane bridge will be constructed with 2x2 two two lanes dedicated to BRT. A ramp down from Tungi Bridge to Abdullapur will be constructed to integrate the Ashulia road to the system. Access to the stations in the elevated section will be made from the underpasses with automatic escalators. The BRT will be an important opportunity to redesign the Joydevpur intersection, integrating the proposal with widening of the Maimansingh Road. The main terminal and depot will be located at Ghazipur. Separate spaces for parking 
and drop-off points for cars, auto rickshaws and rickshaws will be developed. The terminal will have spaces for administration and public facilities. There will be internal space for routine daily maintenance of the buses. Trans Dhaka will be an important tool to improve the landscape of Dhaka by developing high capacity drainage facility under the footpath covering the whole length of the corridor an overall improvement of traffic management by segregating NMT lane service lanes 141 feeder roads and 1000 energy efficient street lights on the footpath by the corridor BRT system will help to introduce a new transport culture more friendly to users and their environment making the Uttara to Ghazipur area more attractive for residents and visitors. It will definitely contribute in the modernization of the city through a holistic solution for integrated urban transport and the construction of 20th century Dhaka a city less polluted, less noisy and with happy citizens that will enjoy the greater prosperity of Dhaka.